In 2010, when the Supreme Court made its ruling in Citizens United versus the FEC, they relied on an illegitimate doctrine of corporate personhood to side five to four with the wealthy elite and the corporations against the interests of the vast majority of American people. They extended the idea that corporations have the same constitutional rights as individual citizens. It's that it limits our access to our own representatives because they're going to have to be out there and already are out there chasing money. Not listening to us, but listening to the people who give them millions of dollars. It's not that we haven't tried to control this. States have tried to control it. The federal government's tried to control it. But our Constitution does begin on the First Amendment, saying that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. And although the Constitution's preamble says, we the people, the Supreme Court has interpreted people as including corporations, and has interpreted speech as including money for advertisements. I can understand their position, but it puts us in a, in a position where we can't regulate what we obviously have to regulate if we want to keep our democracy. The U.S. Constitution states that the Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. In Citizens United, the court interpreted this to mean that neither our state nor federal government can restrict independent political expenditures by corporations or unions. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, this is resulting in corporations and unions spending millions of dollars on political campaigns. That many people poured over a billion dollars into the election campaign. Fine. I started by saying six billion dollars was spent across the country. Over a million commercials were aired. Ten million dollars a day was wasted. We have to be concerned about what is happening with our election processes. Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission, the Supreme Court case must be overturned, even if it needs a constitutional amendment. But I would hope that you would consider this in the next year to put our town's imprimatur on what many towns across the country are asking our Congress and our Supreme Court to do. But I would say just the opposite. There's a real feeling, I'm sure, if you ask your constituents, that we have lost the power to represent ourselves through our votes, that we're um, outmanned and outgunned and outmoneyed by corporations. And <clears throat> I would at the very least like to encourage the town council to consider what it would be like to uh, discuss at the very least the, the resolution. That is why I'm appealing to you, our town councilors, you are the elected officials who are our friends and our neighbors. You are most closely connected to we the people. That's why we concerned citizens ask you as our neighbors and town councilors to act now to pass a resolution encouraging Congress to revoke corporate personhood and overturn the Citizens United decision. 1,000 Brunswick citizens have signed a petition to this effect. Over two dozen main city and town councils have supported such a resolution so far. We ask for your support in this very important issue. Thank you.